Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to day 43 of working in our distance learning packet. Today, we will be working together on lesson A and B, our mystery sight word of the day. Boys and girls, please take out your distance learning packet and a pencil and open up your packet to page 43. Once you're on page 43, where you see the four and the three at the bottom, you will also see our secret sight word of the day at the top. Today, we will identify beginning sounds to reveal the secret sight word of the day. We will write a sentence using the secret sight word. So, boys and girls, first, we are going to start with our secret sight word of the day. And as always, we're going to write our first name and our last name at the top. When you're writing your first name and your last name, please make sure you're writing it nice and neat and your letters are sitting on the line and not floating in the air. So I am writing my first name and last name and I need you to write your first name and last name. And then we will be ready to get started. Okay, boys and girls, remember you have the key at the top where you see a picture and the letter that begins that picture. That can help you when you're trying to find out and reveal that secret sight word. So over on the left, I'm going to start with my first letter in the word. And I see a picture of a watch. Watch. What is the first letter in the word watch? I'm going to check the chart and then I'm going to write it on the line. What letter was that, boys and girls? The letter W. Watch begins with the letter W, and so does our secret sight word of the day. Let's try the next one. I see a picture of an E eh elephant. Go ahead and write the letter that begins the word E eh elephant. All right, boys and girls, did you write the letter E? E is the first letter in the word elephant. So now we know so far our secret sight word has W, E. Eh, and let's see what's next. I see a picture of a rocket. What letter begins the word rocket? Write the letter in the box below the picture of the rocket. Did you write the letter R, boys and girls? You are correct. Rocket begins with the letter R. So we have wh -er, and another elephant here. So I know that is the letter E. And we have revealed our secret sight word of the day. Do you know what it is, boys and girls? It's the word were. We were doing a great job. Were. Let's spell the word were together. W-E-R-E. -E, were. Let's do it again. W-E-R-E. -E, were. Now we're going to write the word in our favorite color. So I am going to write with a blue crayon. So let's go ahead and write the word were. Remember, it helps us to remember if we say the letter names as we write them. So w, E, R, E, were. W, E, R, E, were. Next, we have to find the sight word and highlight it. So I am going to use a highlighter. You can use a yellow crayon, a highlighter, or a pencil if you want to just circle it. Once you get your highlighter ready, you're going to read the sentence. Were you at the party? Go ahead and highlight that word, were. Were you at the party. Oh, I noticed that is a question. Next, we are going to write the word were in capital letters. And just like we did boys and girls before, I want you to say the letters as you write it. So, oops, sorry, boys and girls, I got to get my pencil ready. And I'm going to write capital letters. Let's just erase that. And we will be ready to get my pencil. And we're going to write the word were. So W and a capital W, it's going to be a tall letter. Capital E, capital R, and a 
another capital E. And what did we spell, boys and girls? Were. We were doing a great job. Now we're going to get ready to write our sentence of the day. Now remember, before we write our sentence, we're going to say it across our fingers, count how many words are in the sentence, and then we're going to get started. And when you're writing, you want to make sure that you're doing all the things that good writers do. You're starting your sentence with a capital letter, you're leaving finger spaces between your words, and you're ending your sentence with the correct punctuation. So are you ready to hear our sentence of the day? All right, let's get our hands ready to count those words. We were going to the park. We were going to the park. How many words is that, boys and girls? That's right, six words. So I want you to say it again one more time. We were going to the park. Go ahead and start your sentence now. Remember, make sure you start with a capital letter. We were going to the park. So you want to make sure you have a capital W for we. We know that sight word, right? W-E spells we. We were. That was our new sight word of the day. W-E-R-E, were. And remember, good readers always go back and read again to see what comes next. So we said, we were going. Going has one of our sight words in it. Do you know what sight word is there? That's right, the word go. So G. Oh, so go ing. Do you know the three letters that show the ing sound? It's I, N, G. We were going, what word comes next? To, so we know the word to, T, O. We were going to the... How do we spell the? T H E. We were going to the park. P. Ah. Uh, now, in this word, it's the letter A. P. R. K. And then it ends with the letter K. We were going to the park. And you know what, boys and girls? We know good writers always end their sentence with the correct punctuation. All right, let's check and see if we did everything a good writer does. Did we start with a capital letter? Yep, we have that capital W. We were, and I notice we have finger spaces. We were going to the park and we ended with the correct punctuation. Great job, boys and girls. I hope you have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow for some more learning fun.